guys, January 8th, 2024. We got the first snow of the year. Uh, the, of the new year, we got the first snow we, last night. Only got a couple inches here. Most of it was rain. Then it turned to snow, I got a couple inches. Nothing major. Anyway, this is a call for um, annual service on a uh, rail low burner I do every year. Go over there and got it set up for first thing this morning. Just Monday, Monday morning, first thing Monday morning here. Called the guy this morning, didn't pick up the phone, and then he calls me back. He says, Well, I'm here waiting for you. I said, Well, I don't go unless you pick up the phone, guy. Unless you, unless you, I usually call before I go to any job. If they don't pick up the phone, I don't go. Well, he called me back and saying he's waiting. It's like, Well, you gotta pick up the phone if you want me to go. I've, I've too many people have flaked on me over the years, make an appointment at a certain time, and then you show up and they're not there. No, 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 no. We always, we always confirm before we go anywhere. But anyway, we're gonna go over there and uh, get this thing the once over. Oil tanks in another, another area, another garage area kind of dark and dingy in there and uh, yeah they leak from the inside out and you can see it's all starting to leak it's gonna be changed you can see the leak on the floor there right so I'm not I can't touch it this is an old tank it's coming out the side yeah. not good okay. so you gotta wait till you drain it down like under half a tank okay. and then we could change it right. but I bring barrels I pump all the oil into the barrels. Mm -hmm. Gotta get this, cut this in four pieces, get the new tank in, repipe it, and pump all the oil into the new tank. It's a big job. Yeah, yeah so it's gonna be a little tricky because you gotta get the old tank out before you can get the new tank in. That's the way it's set up. Not good. Not an easy one. Unless you want to have your boy Mike do it. Mike put the original one in. Yeah. But getting Mike to do something's impossible, right? I don't know. <laughs> He's so busy. Somebody put this screw in. Yeah, so hopefully we can just change the nozzle and we've got a decent oil flow for now. You can understand why I don't want to touch the tank, or touch the filter because of the tank, right? Yeah. That's all I need. Have a fucking blowout. So you think, I heard the train has uh, got issues. Yeah. A lot of people don't want to take it. Uh, well, it's always breaking down, or is that true? Yeah, and it's slow. That's why they're a lot it's more slow? Fast. Yeah. You can only go so fast in certain areas. It's it's a mess. Oh, yeah, I think about it, because it's residential areas, and it's got to go slower. And, and the tracks are so old. And the traffic, and it's stopping, and yeah. Boston's a flipping mess, right? It is. And they're always doing more work on a tunnel and shit. Seems like it's a continuous problem up there. I'm going to try not to go up there unless I have to. Yeah, I got to head up there this, later this morning. Too bad you couldn't work remotely. I do a little bit, but... You only can do so much remotely, right? That's right. Oh, 
man wäre noch. So you got the mini splits? Somebody talked you into the mini splits? Yeah. Mike, How do you like them? They're, uh, they're good, you know, so we use both. You know, the probably don't burn as much oil now because we use those. They heat things up fast. It's a little more spotty, the heat, than the baseboard. But they're fine. It's more spotty? What do you mean by that? Well, it doesn't seem to cover the whole room as much. Well, it's, all, it's, it's okay as long as it's not too cold out. Yeah. Oh, if it's real cold, they don't work that well. No. That's the problem with them, you know? If it gets really cold out, yeah. it's not going to work. Because you're taking the heat from outside with a heat pump. So if it's cold out, there's not a lot of heat in the air. You understand? Yep. Yeah, no, when it gets real cold, they just don't work well. You find this cheaper than running the oil or no? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, I mean, I haven't... Somebody's bright idea. I haven't really noticed it being cheaper. You're all right till they start breaking down on you. They're good for 10 years, and then after that, they go to shit. Is that right? Yeah. Start leaking. Is that anything else? I've been for so long. I think that's a 7560. Yeah, that's what we got in there. 7560. What, you expect me to just to show up without a phone call? You I did. Put it, I, I put it in my book, you know. I, well, I, I call first. If you don't pick up, I don't go. I'm not going. I'm just, I mean, you could be going to work or people flake on you. They forget. I would have called. You. It's just how it is, you know. Usually, most people I always call. If they can't. They don't pick up the phone. They're not there, are they? Well, I don't carry my phone on me. I'm in the house, so. I'm, yeah, maybe. I was putting the trash out. <laughs> All right, that should go back together. That's an old one. Getting a little, getting a little stiff. That's what I said to my ex-wife. Getting a little stiff there. It's getting a little stiff. <laughs> the snow huh we could have got hammered yeah the up around Boston they get a lot more I heard like in Worcester and shit they got like 12 inches or yeah. some shit like that I mean how much did they get up in Boston area I, I don't know I, I heard Haverhill got 18 inches really that's up by New Hampshire though well you know what it is it, over here was rain over there must have been a little colder it was snow right yep we only got two. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah, me too. 18, wow. Look that bitch. Yeah, New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont. They get hammered up there.
So if it was me, I wouldn't put any more oil in that tank. Yeah. I'll I mean, if it blows that. out, you're going to be screwed. Yeah. Get it down, uh, you know, below half a tank, and then it'd have to be a nice day where I could put the um, containers outside and pump the oil into the containers, and then I got to get that tank out of there. Yeah. And get the new one in. How long does it take to order one of the new tanks? Oh, I can get it. Yeah. They're in stock. I'll call, I'll call the oil company and tell them to hold off on deliveries. And yeah, I would definitely them. call them and let them know that. Because uh, they do it automatically. Yeah. Why don't you turn up the heat and we'll see how this thing fires up. Right. Like I said, I'm not, chuck, I'm, not chuck, test, uh, I'm not touching the oil filter for the, the leak on the tank. Just changing the fill, just changing the nozzle. Well, at least you stay up on the stuff and don't let it go until it have all kinds of issues. I try to. We don't want no issues. Did it not kick on? Well, I was probably off on limit. Give it a minute. Yeah. Probably off on high limit, you know? Tank starting to leak, could not touch it. Clean. 